My name is Ishal Abdul Halain, welcome to my video on the 68K instructions. This is the first part from a six part series that will explain the instructions available for programming the 68K microprocessor. Now, let's begin with the introduction to the 68K instructions. The 68K microprocessor has more than 100 instructions that can be written using many addressing modes. We can group these instructions into eight types, that is, according to their function. We will see all of the instruction types available now. The first type is data transfer. As its name suggests, all of the instructions in this group deal with data transfer. The second is arithmetic. You will use instructions in this group for arithmetic operations such as addition and subtraction. Next we have the logic instruction type. Logic operators such as logic or, logic and, and logic x or is found in this group. Then we have the shift and rotate instruction type. Instructions in this group allow us to rotate or shift data from one bit to the other. We also have the bit manipulation instruction type that allow you to test and change the value of particular bits in an operand. Another group of instructions available is the binary coded decimal or BCD instruction type. Instructions in this group deal with arithmetic operations on 8-bit BCD numbers. Then, we have the program control instruction type. Instructions here allow for the course of the program to change. This allows loops to be implemented in your programs. Finally, we have the system control instruction type. Instructions here are related to the 68K microprocessor system. All of the instructions can be found in a document called the instruction set. As mentioned in the previous slide, the instruction set is a document that lists all of the instructions of a microprocessor. Each instruction is explained in details in the instruction set. It gives the general syntax, mnemonic, size, source and destination operand addressing modes, and how each instruction affect the condition code register. Let's have a look at an example on how move is written in the instruction set document. It reads move.size d and comma ea. This is the general syntax or the general method of writing the instruction. The mnemonic is move. It is followed by dot size, which tells the microprocessor the size of the operand it should be working on. The size can be either a byte, a word, or a long word. Next, we have DN and EA. This specifies the source and destination addressing modes respectively for our move instruction. DN tells us that any data register can be used for the source operand. On the other hand, we have EA as the destination operand, thus, we can use an addressing mode that calculates the effective address of the destination operand. You should always remember that in any instruction that has a source and destination, that the source is written before the destination. The job of the programmer is to know what size is to be used, and also what to be written in place of DN and EA of the instruction. Finally, the instruction set also tells us how the user byte of the status register or also known as the condition code register is affected after execution of this instruction, the values of the flags labeled X and ZV and C will either be 1 or a 0 according to the instruction executed. Note that this is just one example on how the move command can be written. It can be written in many more ways because the addressing mode for the source and destination can be many types. All of them are given in the instruction set. If you are confused about the source and destination operands, do not be put down. I will show you how to determine them in the next slide, it's easy. You should understand the syntax notation in order to understand the general syntax of any instruction so you can write the instruction properly in your own programs. It consists of symbols often used to write the source and destination operands according to their respective addressing modes in a particular instruction. Let's have a look at the notations. Whoa! That looks like a lot. Don't worry, I'm not going to explain all of them. After explaining a few, I am sure that you will get the picture. Let's look at the first one which is the notation AN, this stands for any address register. Thus, when you see this in the general syntax of an instruction, you can replace them with any address register from A0 to A7. How about another one? Look at the 8th row. The notation is DXDY. Note the X behind the D. The X means source operand, thus DX means any data register can be used as the source register in a particular instruction. On the other hand, the Y stands for destination. Thus, DY means that any data register can be used as the destination register. 
let's have a look at one more here at line 13. It says EA. As mentioned earlier, EA stands for effective address. Thus, when you see it in the general format of an instruction, you can use any address register, data register, or a memory location pointed by an address register. Here is a list summarizing the notations, just pause the video and have a look, it explains what the notations on the right are all about. Now, to really nail it in, let's do an example. Here is an example on another general syntax of the move command listed in the instruction set of the 68K microprocessor. I am going to write an actual move instruction using the syntax. The instruction set document I got this from tells us that the size can be either a byte, word, or long word. It also tells that the source and destination addressing mode are both effective addresses. Thus, I can write the instruction in my program as move.ld0a0 plus, the source operand I chose was data register D0 and is a valid effective address. The destination operand I chose is the address register indirect with post increment, I am using address register A0 for my destination operand. I hope you have an idea of what I'm talking about, things will be more clear in parts 2 to 6 of this video series, there, we will have a look at all of the instructions. Examples of actual instructions written using their general syntax is also given, so, that you can master the instructions to program the 68K microprocessor. Have a nice day.